those of you checking the uh, recording just now, um, I'm Elizabeth Marino, Instructional Specialist for Counseling K-12, and today we are going to cover Naviance um, and how, as a parent, you can access that information. As a caregiver, you can access the information that your students are utilizing in school. So if we can start with the next slide. We are going to cover right now what is Naviance. Um, I kind of gave you a little bit of a background before the recording started on what Naviance, how it's the, the roots of it or where, how it started as a college application tool base, um, kind of like helping our high school students learn um, about college and career pathways outside of high school and definitely help support and facilitate the um, college application process. A lot of the paperwork when I graduated high school was, again, on paper, and you had to mail out applications, post, put stamp it, um, on actually manila envelopes that are like this thick and this big. That's actually all gone. Um, so I want to introduce Naviance, what it began as and what it is now. So let's start with the basics. I wanted to put this quote in um, the presentation for today, and it's from Benjamin Franklin, and it just kind of sounds off a little bit about what, why we're doing what we're doing and um, why Naviance, right, to use as a portal for our students at the middle school and high school level. Um, and it reads, tell me, oh, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. And I think that this sounds true for many of us as parents. Oftentimes we just tell kids what to do. And, and of course we always complain, it goes in one ear and out the other. And then us in the school system, we're always like teaching new concepts and, you know, trying to ensure our students learn those new concepts um, and they'll remember them. But is remembering learning and, and learning and really where we get that learning, that rich instruction or, or really some engagement is when we involve our students in the process. And so Naviance is the portal that helps us with that. We used to do this presentation with the representatives from, um, it used to be a company called Hobson's that owned Naviance. Now it is PowerSchool, uh, which is a database system that you, that is very familiar with student data information. And they used to do these presentations for our parents, but I think we took it ownership back of it because it kind of connects us as a school staff to how as parents you will utilize this information, but more importantly, how we want to connect you as parents and caregivers to this tool and to support your students at home. Next slide. So some quick facts. As I mentioned earlier, Naviance is a national platform. It is a platform that is utilized across all states in the United States, um, for the most part. There are very few counties that do not utilize Naviance, and in which case, that's a little odd, but just because they do have, um, they may not have a contract with Naviance, but they do utilize the platform, students do utilize a platform for supports um, to narrow down their college and career uh, search for after high school. So this, platform is seriously a post-secondary planning platform and it is used nationwide. I, as I mentioned earlier, I did come from Northern Virginia's um, public school system and we utilized it many years um, as well and they continue to utilize it. Um, most of the tasks that are in the Naviance portal, as I mentioned earlier as well, we Naviance started off as a support tool for many of our high school rising seniors and current seniors to really facilitate the process from this um, a uh, paper application for college process to now an electronic streamline process that staff on their end could input their letters of recommendation without having the student to fill out something. Um, they could send uh, waivers from parents on their end to make sure that all of that information is in one database. The school counselor who is sending all that information can easily check with the student that all documents are in order, ready for app uh, the college application process. Now, that's what I remember Naviance 12 years ago. 
I was in high school. You know, so fast forward to now, Naviance really has developed this process to make sure that it's not just focusing on those last two years of high school, but really starting the work, the heavy lifting, even as early as sixth grade. Why? Because we want students to start thinking about their post-secondary planning and what they're going to do after high school as early as sixth grade. And how do we do that? We incorporate many grade level specific tasks. So at the sixth grade is a specific set of tasks. Seventh grade has a specific set of tasks, same thing with eighth and so on. And those tasks are really geared to A, finding out what their interests are and building upon that. Um, additionally, if you asked a school counselor a couple years ago, maybe 10 years ago, how they would, and they, some, of these, some of them still do this process for those of us who were still in the role for so many years. We verified credits or at the high school level to make sure that kids are on track for graduation in the paper format. Naviance really helps support that course planning or that graduation course planning process with a database that really connects the dots between what the student is taking to ensure it matches what their goals are after high school and meeting graduation requirements. So that's kind of like, you know, kidding both uh, both tasks at the same time. Um, this presentation I do, if you click on the website hyperlink, um, whoever's driving, I apologize. Um, it will take you to the link where we have on our MCPS homepage on college and career readiness and it goes over and audience. You go onto the Google, I mean, the search at the top for MCPS, you can just type in Naviance and it'll take you directly here. Um, and so it, it gives you an overview exactly where the person who's the cursor is. You can just type in Naviance and it'll take you directly to this page. Uh, we'll do the search and it'll take you here. So it gives you an overview of what Naviance is, what the how the county is utilizing it. So yeah, thank you for whoever's driving. You click on the first one and it takes you there. Yep. And hopefully we can put tonight's uh, recording on here as an option as well. But it gives you an overview as to what are the key areas Naviance addresses. Um, as I mentioned, academic planning and college and career preparation, but also that exploring and that self discovery. Who and what am I interested in? There are some resources and some videos available for you and how students utilize Naviance, but then also how can you as a parent and caregiver support that work at home? So we can go back to the presentation slides. The other hyperlink takes you actually to a school website access. Um, and this is just an example of Pyle Middle School. So if you click on it, um, I know many of you have children high school level and they have access to it too. But when you click on this example, you can click on your school website. So, and then there should be at the tab at the top that says counseling. Most secondary schools, if not 90% of them have counseling at the top of their webpage for their school, because we wanted to make it accessible for students. Why? Because when counselors go in and support the lessons that are al aligned with the task for Naviance, they want students to access it readily. And so if you go down on this page, you will see the Navion um, hyperlink, which is right there, Navion's information. Now, this was accessible right before the pandemic. Now, obviously the pandemic threw a wrench, but a learning curve at the same time, because we were able to learn how to support students virtually and, and in doing so where it's not like I have to scroll all the way down. Students on their Chromebooks have access to widgets or avatars um, that on the little Google waffle, as we call it, that are like, think of it as an app, where when they open their apps, they are able to see Naviance as one of those apps. And then it takes them directly there to Naviance and they can log in and sign in directly. So let's talk about how schools actually utilize the database and what are some of the different tools that we have. Wow. 
So the first thing I wanted to cover was the course planner. The course planner is well, it's the shorter version of saying the graduation course planner, um, the student graduation course planner, excuse me. And the reason why it's um, we have this program as part of the Naviance package is because what we find is that when students align what they're taking at high school with their goals after high school, it tends to ensure that students are re meeting and reaching those goals. So I know, I can just tell you out of personal experience, and I'm sure many of us have a similar experience where we've taken a class, whether it was in high school or in college, that really didn't go with what we ended up going for as a career. And that's okay, that's part of the learning process, right? But if we can make sure we maximize the time for students at high school and have them on a career pathway that is of their choice, why not? So if students start knowing what career pathway they're interested in taking, even if they don't know the actual career, but they know that they wanna major in something in the arts, well then let's make sure that our students are equipped in, in programs that set them up for success in the arts. So we're gonna watch a quick video, it's only three minutes long on um, the Navias course plan. We can't hear the volume. I think you might have to share the sound. When you, if you want, you can stop sharing. Maybe I'll try mine and see if it works. That's okay. Yeah, I still can't hear the sound. Sally, are you or Abebe sharing the screen? Sally? Sally? Yeah, sorry, it's me. Do you mind? Because um, we can't hear it, so I can share my screen. Um, oh, you... okay. You might have to stop sharing. There you go. Okay. Give me one second. All right. Can you see my screen, Abebe? I know your camera's on so I can see you. Okay. So I just want to make sure that. Let me know with a thumbs up if you can hear my sound. Navian's course planner has been reimagined to offer an entirely new experience. This new experience simplifies setup and implementation and allows schools and districts to fulfill ILP requirements and align course plans with career pathways. Students will have greater ownership over their high school course planning and are well positioned for future career success. Creating a new course plan is straightforward, fully integrated with the Navian solution and begins with the click of a button in Navian student. From there, a guided process moves the student through three distinct steps to ensure that their course planning is meeting high school and college entrance requirements, all while helping them see the connection to their future. During the initial step, students select which high school they will attend, and then they select a pre-created plan of study. In the second step is where you begin to see better alignment to school, district, and student needs. Students are given the option to select a career cluster in order to see the courses that are correlated with that pathway. Individual pathways within a cluster are more tailored to a specific interest. The clusters, pathways, and naming conventions can be customized to meet your school or district's needs. Using the sidebar, students will find an overview of pertinent career and interest information as they move through the process. From here, students will have access to information, including favorited career clusters and pathways, along with the results of the career cluster finder and career key assessments. Keeping this information front and center will help students connect learning to their life.
A grid layout of coursework, along with an overview of progress, provides students with an easy-to-use interface for adding coursework and understanding progression. The sidebar content even provides a messaging tool for students to easily communicate with counselors about their course plans. Once the full course plan is completed, students can review their courses with their parents and submit for approval, all from the same page. After students have submitted for approval, their plan is scanned and they are provided with a college power score. This provides an overview to see if their plans meet entrance requirements at specific colleges on their college list. This tool ensures that students will have all the courses they need to reach their goals before it's too late. Of course, there is more to the Reimagined Course Planner than we can show you here. You might want to see all of this in action, understand more about career pathways alignment, or get a feel for the work involved by the educators. Schedule a full demo today. The Reimagined Course Planner is coming in December 2019. Discounted pricing So as you saw, that was our demo when we first got it back in 2019, and we were able to get that um, as part of our package with Montgomery County Public Schools. Um, and it has been a great tool that many of our middle school eighth grade counselors support the work by starting to iron out all of that great work um, for our students at the eighth grade. And they align the work that they're taking or the courses that they're going to be taking in high school with what they're needing for graduation. So as I mentioned, at the middle school level, um, students start at the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade of utilizing Naviance with the assigned lessons that are provided by the Naviance um, um, staff. So school counselors don't have to recreate the wheel, but I know many of them do uh, format it for specific student populations or more specifically, they tailor the information for their student body. So some of the tasks that the students at the middle school level focus on is the career cluster finder, and that helps narrow down what career areas there are. So that kind of gives students an, uh, a sense of categorizing which careers fall under which cluster area. So we know that acting isn't going to fall under necessarily agricultural, um, but at the end of the day, it's identifying what are the career areas and then what are the type of careers I'd be interested in by completing a strengths finder. So let's look at what are my strengths um, as a student, not my weaknesses, but instead my strengths. So like what are some areas I do very well in? And if those are the areas I do well in. Let's see what careers match that. Um, Road Trip Nation is also a great tool that our middle school students um, have access to where they will hear or see videos from people in those careers. Believe it or not, we actually have a lot of famous celebrities as part of the, the uh, video. So it's kind of cool to kind of see the videos um, and the students um, hearing from the celebrities um, talk about the different career clusters either they're in or they may have majored in uh, when they were in college prior to becoming a celebrity. Um, course planner is the number one thing that eighth grade students walk out of middle school when they graduate from middle school and go to high school ready to uh, be focused in to graduate um, with a career in mind from high school so that they can apply that either in the world of work or ready for a college or a university or even um, our military. So as far as a demo at the middle school level, I would show you through this way, but I am actually going to show you through um, my own account um, as a student. As I mentioned earlier, the widgets that the students have or the apps, it's through a portal called Clever. And the students don't need to have a login or anything like an email or password or remember anything because Clever is already embedded in their um, Chromebooks. So when the students log into their Chromebooks, they're already signed in through Clever. So all they have to do is click on the widget a little on the uh, for their they and the students are fully aware of how to access it and it takes them straight to Naviance. So I'm going to show you um, what it looks like. Um, obviously, mine's at the district level and I'll give you kind of a 
um, a view, a demo student view of what they see on their end. So I apologize for. So this is a demo of what students see. They can either search for colleges or search for courses um, in, in our district, but definitely the colleges are the great things that students can, even at the middle school, start looking at. Um, all messages that come from their counseling department can be sent and found at the top left. And at the top right, their favorites, either favorite colleges that they're thinking about, this can be completely edited from sixth to 12th grade. Colleges that they're applying to, especially at the 11th and 12th grade, they should have some colleges that they're interested in applying to if they are interested in going to college or university. If not, that's fine, but just you know, having an idea as well as courses that they're interested, career and clusters, and as well as scholarships and, and money. Remember that this is a tool that they're utilizing well until their, their senior year because they need to have all of that information for graduation. As a parent, you don't have to do much of the heavy lifting to see or approve anything on your end here in Naviance at the high school level. They will start, the students will start picking their colleges and universities but that conversation can happen at home. You can ask your child, can I see some of the um, colleges that you're interested in? And let's look at what are their requirements. You can see that through the Navias portal. As well as any tasks that are either overdue or upcoming will be listed in this um, front page. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the career cluster finder and um, the strength explorer are two things that the middle school students definitely do. And they would actually have those tasks listed right here under this tab of important to do and tasks. You don't see it under mine because I'm on demo mode, but when a seventh or eighth grader logs in, they will see those tasks. Um, sixth and seventh, eighth graders will have the graduation course planner. Um, and so they, they explore in the course catalog. As you can imagine, I have district access viewing. So you're gonna see a multitude of, of, uh, of courses and this just this goes on and on. I won't show that to you, but maybe uh, a middle school student is interested in taking linear algebra, which is offered at their feeder high school or at the high school that they're planning on attending the following year. And they can favorite that course because they know that that's aligned to their interests of career. Their favorite, I mean, their career explorer clusters and the career areas would be in this tab. Again, it would also be in the to-do tasks if the students are following the, um, the counselors are in the classroom and presenting what the to-do tasks are for those grade levels. And then students, once they complete those interest surveys can favorite the careers that they came across. Colleges, there's a slew of information. So this is now where the seniors 11th graders and 10th graders and even ninth graders start looking at what are some good fits based on my um, my interest areas, um, what I'm, you know, what I, courses I've taken, like the video showed you, these are the courses, I mean, these are the universities that would be more of interest to you. Um, once you have those criteria of, of what you're interested in, it will show you more of a detailed look. And I apologize, mine's just a demo. Um, but then there's also colleges you're thinking about and, and more information on how to really uh, hone in on, on different things um, to decide which colleges you would be interested in attending, either through the visit process, some resources and maps about the colleges, to even the acceptance history of, um, of the university that you're interested in. Um, now, this is where the senior and 11th grade process starts. When students um, start the process of submitting a letter, getting letters of recommendation, they would be under this tab of letters of recommendation. And the school counselor will handle this on their end to make sure that they're, they're included in the packet for the student. But I wanted to make sure that you as parents knew that this is part of the process as well as transcripts. So students have to request transcripts for their college application um, process. And that just allows for schools to know where are students applying to, to get those transcripts. Many schools do require payment for transcripts 
uh, maybe a set amount. I don't, I don't determine that at the district level. Each school determines that. But um, in Navias, you're able to see that as well as test scores for your SAT, ACT, and PSAT, which are the standardized tests for colleges and university entrance. Um, and then obviously some scholarship information, if you, any information that you're interested in. As I mentioned earlier, this would be the place where students would indicate that which colleges they're planning to apply to, and then they can manage their transcripts and kind of see the process moving forward. Um, finally, the planner is um, where they would be able to input their post-secondary goals. Um, and again, I apologize that this demo doesn't really go into depth, um, but it really gives you a shell skeleton of what it looks like. So that was even a middle school and high school demo, and I apologize, but we're going to see some videos of how that looks like at the high school level um, shortly. The high school focus is really college and career resourcing. Um, at the high school, you not only have the high school counselor, but you also have a college and career information coordinator at every high school. That college and career information coordinator is a person versed in ensuring that your student and that yourself are in the know of what's available for after high school, whether that's the world of work, military, maybe a gap year or attending a four year um, university or two year college, whatever that is, that CCIC for short, um, and your school counselor can help with that process. Similarly to the middle school students, they have a task where they um, review their strengths. They look at the profile of different career interests. They look at the videos from Road Trip Nation, explore different careers. But the difference is that they now have a college search and selection process as part of their finalization of a high school career. And then of course, transcript and recommendation letters being ensured to send to colleges and universities, if that is what they so choose. So I'm not gonna show you all of these videos. I know that Abebe um, or Sally will send this um, presentation slide deck to parents who attended and those who aren't are watching this recording now. But I do want to show um, a quick overview of Naviance at the high school level and more importantly, how to access it. Every single parent in MCPS can contact their college and career information coordinator or their high school counselor, whichever one that you are interested in reaching out to or may have a strong relationship with to ensure that you have access to your child's Naviance account. So I will do the quick overview. Oh, sorry about that. Quick overview um, so that each of you can watch a little bit. Hello, about I am Cynthia Hammond Davis, the College and Career Coordinator at Wheaton High School. And this is a brief tutorial on how to use our Naviance system. And it's just a brief overview of the Naviance system. So once students have signed in, they will go directly into the Naviance system. So we're going to go through just a few things today to get you familiar with the system. So this is the home page that students will see. And there are different things that students- I'm, I just wanna pause and say, I know this video is 13 minutes long. I promise I'm not gonna show you all 13 minutes tonight. You will be obviously, um, uh, you can review it at your leisure. I do want to make sure that I just kind of carry the gist of it so that um, families can see a little bit about it, but I, I, I will not show all 14 minutes of this video. Students can start working on. For ninth grade students, we normally take them to the career section and we have them do uh, different um, career surveys. So they would look at explore to do surveys and they could start with the career interest profiler. So that's normally what we do with ninth or 10th grade students. And they just click on the start button and there will be uh, different uh, questions for them to answer whether they like or dislike certain things. And then at the end of the um, profiler and answering all of the questions, they will have results to view. 
Once students have completed all of the questions, they will have their results. And their results are based on certain, certain interests. So the interest could be enterprising, investigative, con conventional, realistic, artistic, and social. Okay, so this student, because of the answers they put in, um, her top interest was in the enterprising area. And then the next one was investigative then the next was conventional and on and on. So based on what the students put in, their likes and their dislikes, this is what came up and it matched them with certain careers that they can look uh, to, to view. So they would go into view matching careers. And this student, based on the information that he or she put in, has come up with these specific careers. And there are quite a few careers that students can choose, okay? So students can choose quite a lot, quite, um, there's a lot of careers to choose from. So um, let's just say the student um, wanted to go into computer and information systems manager. So they would click on that to get more information about this particular um, career. So it talks about the job description. It talks about the interest based on the Holland interest code. All right. And the other thing is that they give them related occupations that they can go in as well. And then related majors in this particular field, in this particular career. So say, for example, students wanted to um, go into this career, computer and information systems manager, they could go into some of these related um, majors. So let's just click on uh, information science studies. When you click on that, it takes you to colleges that actually have this as a major. So if you, um, if the student wanted to learn more, they could look at a specific college, click on that, and they would see information about this college. I just realized I was muted the entire time. I apologize. So um, what I was saying while I was muted was that that was a quick overview video. I didn't want to show the entire 14 minutes because it does cover almost um, the whole process of NAMIAS, which you are more than welcome to watch at your leisure. I will make sure that the slide deck is sent out. Um, but it really covers a lot of the information. And since some of you are ninth grade parents, I thought that was very important information for you to have. Next, um, there is a quick video on the parent access and how to access your child's Navias account. And this one's only three and a half minutes. Hello, it's Cynthia Hammond Davis. This tutorial will help parents access their child's Navias account. Before you can access your child's Navias account, you need to contact the counseling department and ask for your registration code for Naviance. Again, you would contact the counseling department for your child's Naviance uh, parent code. So you're looking for the parent's registration code for your child. After you've received the registration code, you're going to go to naviance.com and click on sign in and students and families. You need to know the zip code of your child's school and press go. 
for this exercise, I'm using Wheaton High School. So for the first time, you will go into I need to register. Once you've done this one, one time and you've registered, you do not have to go into this area anymore. You will go just put in your username and password and click log in. But for the first time, you're going to click on I need to register. You will put in the uh, access, I'm sorry, registration code that you received from the counseling department and you would click on register. It's going to ask you for an email address to create a password. The password has to be at least um, 10 characters and it is case sensitive, all right? So it might be a combination of numbers and letters as well. And after you've inserted that, then you would click on continue, okay? So after you click on continue, you will be directed to go into your uh, Naviance account using your username and password. Your username will be your email address and the password you created. Again, so after you've finished this and you have clicked on continue, down at the bottom of the screen, okay then the next screen you will see is how to log in so after you have um, naviance has accepted your email address and your password you will put that email address and password in this area So after you have put in your email address and your password, then you click a login and you will be in your child's account and you will know it's your child's account when you see the child's name here. This is my demo student, Amy student. So now you are in your child's account and um, this is the access that you will have for the account. You have been listening to the How to Access My Child's Account tutorial. And this ends this tutorial. My name is Cynthia Hammond Davis. Have a great day. Great, so that, sorry about that. I keep closing out, but there really wasn't another slide. I will check um, now to see if there was another slide um, before I close this out. Um, either way, as I mentioned, you will all get access to, and I apologize, I thought I was really good with, with Zoom, but apparently I, I'm still a novice. We're all growing, right? Um, so that was the high school demo. Again, I didn't show the new password instructions for students because we don't have students on this call at the time, but that's also available for you to watch if you need that. Um, just knowing that this tool is just an eye tool, uh, toolkit for you as a parent caregiver to support your students is great. But if you have any questions as Ms. Hammond Davis, who is a CCIC at our College and Career Information Coordinator at the College and Career Center in Wheaton High School, you can always contact your um, counseling office and they will be happy to help you with this process, even at the middle school level. So without further ado, that concludes my presentation. Um, I will stop sharing now officially. And if you have any questions, feel free to either unmute or you can put them in the chat. You can, um, you, you may um, have missed my introduction. I'm Elizabeth Marino. I am an instructional specialist for school counseling. Um, we are keeping a recording of tonight's session. Um, and I appreciate each and every single one of you here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me as well. I am listed on the website as the instructional specialist for school counseling in the district, but you are more than welcome to contact your school counselor at your child's middle school or high school to help them with the process uh, with Naviance. So I thank you all for tonight. If you have any questions, I'll be around for a few minutes after, but other than that, I thank you all for your time.